It's clear that Maine's dairy industry is not what it used to be, but the farms that are still operating are working year-round to produce a wide range of foods. And they are supporting thousands of jobs along the way, and next month those farmers will be in the spotlight. Here's New Center Maine's David Guildford. Dairy delight at the Blaine House. Cheers. Maine producers came to Augusta Thursday to ring in June as Maine Dairy Month. Whether it's cheese, milk, ice cream, butter, as well as the stewardship of our land, the function of our economy. June 2024. The official proclamation is meant to highlight the hard work Maine's 145 dairy producers put in. According to the state, the industry directly provides 5,100 jobs and generates more than a billion dollars in direct economic impact. Dairy farms, as we all know, are at the heart of Maine's agricultural industry. June has been National Dairy Month since 1939, highlighting an industry permanently unpredictable. Weather is always a challenge. In 2022, it was drought. In 23, flooding. Now, avian flu has cattle farmers' attention. The virus has not been detected in Maine, and the FDA assures the U.S. milk supply continues to be safe. Even just in daily life on a dairy farm, you're going to experience a challenge, whether it's a broke down tractor or <laughs> something. The main message from the governor's front lawn, buy Maine dairy. When in the grocery store, look for the number 23 stamped on products like this milk jug. That's the code for Maine-based dairy products, with the numbers after it denoting their specific farm of origin. Mainers can also educate themselves. Where's, where's your farmer? Where does your farmer fit into this? And what does your food look like? Betsy Bullard of Breguine Farm in Turner helps host Maine's Adopt a Cow program. Um, wrecking ball is about the same height, about 53 inches, 54 yes. inches, yeah. Classrooms can follow a dairy cow's daily yeah. life and you know, learn about learn where their more. food comes That's from. Bullard says they've reached as many as 17,000 kids. There's really an amazing number of questions that both kids and teachers, and it just starts a lot of conversations about where does... Where does our food come from? And of course, June or not, many farms welcome visitors out to the country to learn or even sip for themselves. In Augusta, David Guilford, News Center, Maine.